High Gear with your chance to win an all-access Daytona 500 experience. Scan the QR code or visit NASCAR.com, and we've got a crash on the track. The 97 of Shane Van Gisbergen is involved, as well as the 19, Taylor Gray. Big damage to the front of this car coming at us. Roll here. The 11 of Josh Williams looks like he has been caught up also. Yeah, you could feel you could feel this wreck coming, and a lot of drivers, the intensity picking up. Only 19 laps to go. There's Josh Williams. We see the 19 rolling. Oh man, big damage for Austin Hill. Uh, I mean, I know whose fault it was that he even got a snag there, but I'm not going to say it on the radio. Oh boy. Well, this is big damage because you're looking at this damage on the left side, but it's a lot of damage on the right side as well. All right, well, here we are. Well, this starts really early and happens later, so let's watch it develop. Watch the 97 car in the middle. Contact right there. And again, a just a bottle jam. He's on the bottom of the racetrack. 26 trying to slow down. 32 gets in the back of him. Very similar to the wreck we saw before it. Just, you know, you're behind all of it. So watch what happens with the 97. Keep your eyes just on him, the 26 behind him of Dean Thompson. So he moves up the racetrack. Dean tries to get underneath him. Contact, puts SVG on the bottom. I think Dean Thompson's afraid that SVG is going to come back in front of him. He's starting to check up a little bit, and the guy behind him wasn't. That's what I think is the big cause of this. Is oh. oh, some big hits. Jeff, your point about the 26, because the 97 has enough grip. He can run the trial on the apron without a problem and blend on the other side of the travel. But it's the 26, the blue nosed car right there. You see his nose. He's like either off the gas or on the brakes and finally gets spit out of line by the car behind him because I think the cars behind him are thinking, we're just going to leave the 97 stuck down there. Dean Thompson, not a lot of experience. He's thinking he has to leave a hole for the 97 to come back up and the 32 just continues to push and push until finally the 26 goes around. And that's the worst part of the racetrack. Like I mean, that part sure. of the racetrack, there's not much banking, and when you're being pushed through that through that travel, it is very easy to get spun around, it, especially on the bottom of the racetrack. There's very little grip down there. Some big hits right there. I've seen that picture way too many times in my life. And that's, that's what we talk about. That's what every driver is afraid of here. Watch the 21 on the outside. He's nowhere near this wreck, having nothing to do with it. Minding his own business, boom, there he is, gets caught up in it. Yeah, Taylor Gray gets shot up the racetrack into that 21. And fortunately for the 97, there were cars over there because that was going to be... That could have been huge. I mean, it was already a big hit, but going all the way into the wall at that angle. So the big one happens here at Talladega, right in the tri-oval, middle of the pack. That's what we start. We return.